Today, we look into the life and impact of one of the most significant figures in Islamic history. Muhammad bin Qasim. In this video, we'll explore who Muhammad bin Qasim was, his arrival in the Indian subcontinent, his role in the spread of Islam in the region, and the events leading up to his untimely death. Muhammad bin Qasim, born in 695 CE, was a young and valiant Muslim military commander of the Umayyad Caliphate. He hailed from the city of Taif, in present-day Saudi Arabia, and was barely in his late teens when he embarked on a mission that would change the course of history. In 711 CE, Muhammad bin Qasim led a military campaign into the Indian subcontinent. He came to Sindh when Raja Dahir refused to assist in the capture of the sea bandit who was kidnapping women and children. With a small but highly disciplined army, Muhammad bin Qasim landed in the coastal city of Debal, which is now part of modern-day Pakistan. He faced formidable challenges, including the harsh terrain, a vastly superior enemy force, and political intrigue. Despite the odds stacked against him, Muhammad bin Qasim displayed exemplary military tactics and strategic acumen. He successfully defeated the sea bandit and consolidated his position in the region. His conquests were not just about political dominance, they also played a crucial role in introducing Islam to the region. Muhammad bin Qasim is often regarded as one of the first Muslim conquerors to establish Islamic rule in the Indian subcontinent. He promoted religious tolerance, allowing local populations to practice their faith freely. He ensured the protection of religious places and respected the rights of non-Muslims. His administration was marked by a just and fair approach, which won the hearts and minds of many locals. This approach facilitated the peaceful conversion of some to Islam, contributing to the gradual spread of the religion. Tragically, Muhammad bin Qasim's promising journey was cut short. In 715 CE, he was recalled to the Umayyad Caliphate's capital, Damascus, by the new governor, Al-Hajjaj ibn Yusuf, who saw him as a political threat. Muhammad bin Qasim was imprisoned and later executed. His death marked the end of his remarkable campaign in the Indian subcontinent, but his legacy lived on. His conquests laid the foundation for future Muslim rulers and dynasties in the region, who continued to play a pivotal role in the spread of Islam. In conclusion, Muhammad bin Qasim was a young and courageous warrior who left an indelible mark on the history of the Indian subcontinent. His arrival in the region and his role in the spread of Islam showcased not only his military prowess but also his commitment to justice and religious tolerance. While his life was tragically cut short, Muhammad bin Qasim's legacy endures through the rich tapestry of history. His contributions to the spread of Islam in the subcontinent continue to be remembered and celebrated to this day. Thank you for joining us on this historical journey. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful content. Let us know in the comments below which historical figure or event you'd like us to explore next. Until next time, take care.